had to move there. Really big wave coming in. Wild and windy down at the beach, down at Boscombe Beach. Um, there's a lot of waves, so it's coming up to high tide. So I'm just having a little play, and the sky is starting to get really nice too. So that's pretty cool. So this is what I'm looking at in there. It's a um, little scaffold groin, um, sort of protecting a um, water outlet. Um, when the high tide is, is here and you get some good waves and you get some lovely wave trails coming up around this. So I'm gonna hopefully talk you through how I do the wave trails. So here we are. That's my frame. Waiting for the waves to fill the whole of the frame. Settings wise, at the moment I'm at ISO 800, um, F11, three and a bit seconds. Uh, it's still pretty dark. Um, as it gets lighter, I will bring that ISO down. Um, we'll probably aim for still about about three seconds. Having looked at the waves, um, they're taking about three seconds to drag back into the into the surf. So try and aim it for around that two to three seconds mark. I'm just waiting for a wave that's going to fill all the frame. It's just coming up to high tide now, so shouldn't have to wait too long for that. This one looks promising. Right, so that's filling the whole of the frame. So at the moment, I'm just waiting for it to start going back and some breaks appear in the white surf. And there we have it. Like that, ship in the background, moody sky, waves, wave trails, perfect. Right, it's getting a bit lighter now. I'll stop around to a uh, portrait composition, uh, which I think suits this. Uh, again, making absolutely sure that the central line of the groin is in the middle. If you're going to do symmetry, do symmetry. So just waiting for a, a nice wave to come up and fill the frame. Again, we're at 3.2 seconds, F11, um, ISO is now down to 3.20. Move slightly closer now because I was waiting too long for the waves and I haven't got the patience. <laughs> so um, just framed up a little bit, a bit tighter on the groin. Again, making sure that it's central. Again, wait, waiting for a wave to fill the whole frame, and then I'll click the shutter when it starts going out. So, the sky's looking pretty nice over there. Apart from that big cloud bank on the horizon, if it wasn't for that, there'd be a pretty epic sky going on. Alright, here we go. Alright, just wait for it to start. Some gaps. Now.
that one should pop up on the screen in a moment. I'm quite happy with that one. Some lovely trails coming in from the corners. Nice and clear, nice and crisp. Very nice. Right, just moved around so that we can get a bit of the sky in here as well. Just framed up landscape. Again, using the wave trails, making sure there's a bit of separation between the groin and the pier in the background. As you can see on that, hopefully that will focus. Histograms looking good. Two and a half seconds F F11 ISA 50 at the moment. Just trying to keep it around that two and a half seconds. So we've got a nice big wave coming here. Wait for the wave to start going. Lovely. Now that wave was a little bit over the top of the my willies. Icy rain that. Bloody cold. Nice bit of rain, you can see that on the back of the screen there. Like that, I think that one is going to pop up on the screen any moment. should have some more of these videos coming soon. Uh, I've got another one that uh, should be going live tonight. I'll see you soon.